Hello, Taylor Boucher here as an athletic trainer with Pro Motions to bring you the player profile for Lindsay Shoup, a previous USA rower, Olympic gold medalist, and current UM graduate assistant coach. Today we will discuss how her posture, inefficient hip cycle, overactive hips, and excessive knee valgus prevent her from, from performing a snatch from the floor and a power clean to jerk as efficiently as possible. We also hope to show you a few verbal cues and exercises to help your athletes perform better. The first lift we are going to cover today is the snatch from the floor. In Lindsay's case, we had to supplement her with lighter weight and a blocks to make sure to accommodate for her longer arms and legs. On this first view, we can notice that Lindsay has overactive hips, which causes her to jump forward. As we can see in this anterior view, Lindsay's overactive hips causes her to flex her elbows and thus not be able to shrug properly and muscle the bar up over her head. And on the catch, we can also see her abduct her feet to make sure she can get underneath the bar. While Lindsay also needs to jump more towards the ceiling, she also needs to be careful of her previous tendencies to be a rower. As you can see here, her knees rotate to the right, her hips to the left, and her right arm abducts away from her body. This allows her to pull more with her left as if she was rowing. The next lift we'd like to go over is the power clean to jerk. As we can see on this lateral view, a few reminders is to keep her head through the ceiling, keep her arms straight, and make sure to not lift the bar out around her knees as she just did. Now we can see that her overactive hips are starting to take over again, which all started from her lifting that bar around her knees, which causes her elbows to flex, her head to actually go back towards the wall, and thus swinging that bar out and over around, which allows her to muscle up the bar for the catch, which we can see has too much knee flexion without hip flexion, thus leading to a poor hip cycle. The inefficient hip cycle is noticeable during her press jerk as well. As you can see here, she has too much knee flexion on the push, and when it comes time to catch the bar, she does not drop underneath and flexes her knees again. As we can see in this anterior view again, her inability to shrug properly also causes her to flex her elbows, and we can also notice here that possibly performing the movement in a more explosive manner will allow her to move the bar more efficiently. On the posterior view, we need to remind Lizzie to again keep her knees out as she pulls up and make sure to pull evenly through the bar. Here we can see that she actually does a good job of pulling more with her left shoulder, but not as much with her right shoulder, still showing a little bit of elbow flexion, which causes a swing of the bar out and around again. As we come into the push jerk, we can again see her inefficient hip cycle as her knees cave in. This instability with her knees actually doesn't allow her to get underneath and catch the bar properly. Now that we've analyzed Lindsay's lifts, it is also important to provide corrective exercises so she can improve. One of which is a dumbbell shrug, or a dumbbell shrug with a jump, both of which are very good at teaching her to shrug properly. The next is a single arm snatch, so she can work on dropping below that weight, and also improving that hip cycle. Lastly, we want her to perform depth drops so she can watch that valgus knee movement as she lands. Thank you for joining ProMotions. Please follow us on Instagram for future player profiles.